right. Thank you, Andrea Munoz, uh, for joining me. Uh, this is Travis Hobson for Punch Drunk Critics. And we're talking to Andrea, Andrea Munoz about Bullet Train, which comes out this week. How are you doing, Andrea? I'm very good, Travis. Thank you for having me here. It's a pleasure to be here talking to you about Bullet Train. And I'm great. Good. Excited great. for the movie coming. <laughs> yeah, man. This is a this is a huge role for you. This is your, if I remember right, this is your first major American movie role. Am I correct? Yes, this is the first. Yeah, this is the first American movie role that I booked in my career. So yeah, it's very important for me. It might be a small role in the movie, and but for me, it's gigantic. For me, it's very important. Me, my family, and hopefully my Colombian people. <laughs> but yeah, it is. It is. It is the first one, and I'm very excited about it. I'm very happy. Yeah. Well, it's a small role, but it's a key role because you play uh, the wife to the wolf. Who's yes. by uh, superstar Bad Bunny? Uh, talk yeah. to me a little bit about about the wife. Talk to me. Talk, 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 talk to me a little bit about your character. Uh, yeah, I mean, basically, is what you say is a key role because she's the reason why he's over there, like seeking revenge. Which is like, I feel like that's the main. I'll call like the main um, <clears throat> subject or like to describe this movie is revenge or avenge something. And I am the reason why Wolf is there um, because I became a collateral, 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 collateral. damage <laughs> in a situation. <clears throat> uh, he's like, he's involved in like not very legal things. So I became that and I die and he, he find the man that is responsible for this and that's going to be Brad Pitt. So he's going after his ass. <laughs> <laughs> now talk to me about what happened when you first learned that you got this role. Because this is, I mean, this is a really big place for, for any any actor to start, you know. So talk to me a little yeah. bit when you first found out. I didn't believe it at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> like I had a hard time to wrap my mind around it. And I was like, I, I remember just telling my agent, are you sure? Are you sure this is it's me? Maybe they send the evil to the wrong girl. Because yeah, like the first person cast for this movie was Brad Pitt. And I was like, when I saw the 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 audition, I was like, there is no way I'm gonna get this. Um I was back then like a non-union actor, so I knew for a fact that these productions they they will only hire like uh SAG actors and and so, I, yeah, it, it, was, it was incredible. It was amazing. I was very happy. I told my family and we were like, what? Like a movie, like a credit in a movie with Brad Pitt, with Sandra Bullock. And a week before shooting, I find out that, I, that my scene partner was going to be uh, Benito, Bad Bunny. And that was, of course, amazing because I'm a big fan of his music. Like, yeah. I love reggaeton. I'm Colombian, born and raised. So we enjoy his music. He's uh, an icon for the Latin community. So, yeah, I was very happy. It was it was amazing. What was it like getting a chance to work so closely with Bad Bunny? It was I was very scared, like like because I'm a big fan. So you don't want that person that you have like that you admire to be like a mean person, maybe a diva, or to be the person that you don't expect him to be. Yeah. So I was scared about that. But as soon as I met him, I was so happy because he's very sweet. He's a very sweet guy. He was a gentleman with me. He treated me with a lot of respect and and tenderness because we have a lot of scenes that we were like you know kissing and doing all these things and those aren't like easy scenes to yeah. shoot you know it's very intimate and private and he managed to be very very sweet to me and make me feel always comfortable and safe and secure so yeah i'm gonna always remember that because that was my first kiss on camera so thank <laughs> you Benito, for being nice and sweet <laughs> <laughs> this movie is wild and over the top action, really violent. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Is this your? Is this the kind of movie that you that you kind of get into, or is a, what's your favorite kind of movie? Yes, I love action. I, I love action movies. Like I, my my favorite genre is gonna be. I'm gonna say it's gonna be uh, adventure, fantasy, superheroes, everything that is like a something that is happening with human, but it's not like real. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, like I, all these movies have a lot of stunts and like stuff like that. And I love action movies. I grew up watching them because of my dad mm -hmm. and I love this genre and this one is going to be funny and witty. So you guys are going to love this movie. It's, it's, it's so much fun. 
Now you just got out of uh, acting school right around the time of the pandemic. Am I right? Yes. How yes. Did, how did that disrupt your career? Like I, I imagine like for a lot of people that, 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 that uh, set a lot of projects aside and stuff, but for someone who's just really kind of starting out, how did that disrupt you? Oh my God. It was awful. <laughs> this, okay. So the story is like, um, I, have to like a year before the pandemic my work permit I'm, I'm not a USA citizen uh, stopped so I have to apply for it again mm. and it took a year to be approved wow so I, in 2020 February of 2020 I got my my green card and I was so happy I was oh my god I'm gonna be able to work and the pandemic hit I was like, wow. this is awful because you know like like war permits and visas they have a time so again like a big chunk of my time to be allowed to build my career here it was going to be taken because of the pandemic mm -hmm. so yeah it like it like it was it was like a bummer and it stopped a lot of things and actually because we should do it in the pandemic it it kind of like made this this experience to to don't be as joy as enjoyful as it could have been if it was before pandemic because we couldn't talk to each other we have to be like right. apart from each other like you, yeah. you couldn't talk to the crew like it was so like oh it like it was horrible so so i'm pretty sure if i had this project before the pandemic it would be easier like to get closer to people you know right. in this project you really want to build like like relationships friendships because it, this is very important for me so i want to remember this is a great experience it was great don't get me wrong it was amazing mm -hmm. Uh, but yeah, pandemic suck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can't tell, like when you're watching the movie, it looks like everybody's having a blast. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we did have a blast, but oh, geez, it was, it was, it was a call it test every five minutes. And I was like, it's impossible that I got it five minutes ago. So chill. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So if you had your, if you had your, you know, moving on from, from, from bullet train, like if you, if you had your choice to do uh, any kind of role, like what would you choose from? Like, in the movie, your, bullet train, or what would, your, what would your dream project be if you had your choice? To be a superhero, for sure. Uh -huh. I would love to be a superhero. I would love to train to do my own stunts. I would love to create this character that is so um, travel and deep because superheroes stories are always like that, and and to build it up from some unreal situation um i think that's my favorite thing of being an actor to use my imagination to create like different scenarios um situation context so yeah imagine building up like something from an unreal world something that is that it will never ever happen because it's, yeah. it's like not real like from another planet or something like that so yeah i would love to be a superhero that's awesome well andrea this has been fantastic and i Thank love you. the fact that we got a chance to uh kind of meet you in the, like this this first big next step in your career i think that's really yes. great and yes. uh, i wish Thank you the you best much. of luck with bullet train and in uh, your career after this i hope to talk to you again soon about whatever you're doing next of course of course always open here to tell you i hope something comes soon and i can tell you about it <laughs> absolutely i can't wait to hear about it thank you very much i appreciate okay. it bye. bye thanks for checking out the show if you like what we're laying down please subscribe to our channel and click the bell to receive notifications for all of our latest stuff.